Hello people, welcome back to Joey Grips YouTube channel and today I'm going to talk about Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. I'm going to cover all the monsters that are in the game and I'm going to give you all the battle tips you need to win those battle and achieve victory. Make sure you smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and let's jump right into it. And the first monster we have on the list is Glavinus. Glavinus has a sore like tail, sharpened, fearsome fangs. They have hind legs that allow them to move effortlessly when they're chasing you down. And they will slash you down with their monstrous tails. The battle tips to defeat Glavinus is to know that their patterns will change when they store enough up heap as they charge up. So you must break their parts as fast as you can before they unleash their devastating blow. The next monster in this beautiful game is Gamoth, a massive beast with piercing tusks that can dig deep into you and fling you around like you a sack of potato. Not only do they strike you with their trunks, but they can also crush you just with their weight of their bodies. The battle tip to defeat Gamma is to know that the more parts you break from them, the less damage you take from them when they attack you. Focus on breaking their parts, dodging, and when they unleash the damage in the attack, you will take less damage because you've broken so many of their parts. Focus on that. That is the key to victory for Gamoth. The next monster on the list is Toby Kadachi. With their sharp claws and their ability to climb up tree trunks with ease, this makes Toby an agile monster that can build up a lot of static electricity when they rub their fur against a bark. The more electricity they the more electricity they store up, the more their pattern will change and the harder it is to figure out what they're going to do. The pro tip here is to know that their attack pattern will change drastically the more electricity, static electricity, they store up. So at every opportunity you can, break their parts before they can charge up more static electricity to damage you. And the next monster flying through the sky is Basil Goose. Basil Goose flies through the sky, traveling around the world of monster hunters, and they will see you and scatter explosive scales that rain down on you, and once you are gone, they will feast on your body. In order to defeat them with this battle tip, when they are in rage and gliding, items like flash bombs are ineffective. In order to bring them down to earth, you must break their parts before they rain down more explosive scales all over you. The next monster, it's a beautiful monster, and it's Misune, who has a white and purple scales that exude magical aura. Yet, as beautiful as they are, they are far from being friendly. They are far from being harmless. They secrete like pus coming out of your skin. A fluid that covers their enemies and makes them immovable. And that's when they calm down on you and strike you down and defeat you. Here is the pro tip. During the battle, they're going to enhance their agility when they use their bubbles which will decrease your attack accuracy. So avoid that, and when they are in the enraged state, they can perform two moves during one turn. So you have to be prepared to make sure when there's an opportunity come, and you're able to attack on them, make sure you make a strong attack. Otherwise, they're gonna be tough to hit, because they're very agile and the bubbles will decrease your attack accuracy. Avoid the bubbles and victory will be yours. The next monster is Pukey Pukey, who stores a venom deep inside their bodies, which they ferment 
and turn and twist in their stomachs as vegetables and once they consume and they create a poisonous gas and that gas is deadly to you so the pro tip here is that every time they eat they change their attack type and this is you when your opportunity comes in to break their parts and limit the different attack types they have limiting their attacks by breaking their parts is the key to victory palumu is the next monster that you will encounter who inflates their sacks in their bodies which makes them float in the air and now that they have the ability of flight they slow you down with compressed air to create an opening for a powerful tail attack so the pro tip for palumu so you could defeat them is allow them to stay airborne for as long as you can and they will perform aerial attacks then you use items to break their parts and gain the upper hand while keeping them in the air for as long as you can use those powerful items in your inventory to break their parts and win the battle keep them afloat to win the battle is the key the next belligerent monster is Ajanath who's tenacious in pursuit to attack and destroy your very existence they bury their fangs deep into anything that strays too close to their mouth their large spikes on the bottom jaws of their mouth heats up like a volcano turning their breath into flurry of flames you want the battle tip to defeat this monster know that their pattern of attack is easy to predict learn how to predict their pattern when they perform their strong attack and use that knowledge to prioritize and break their parts to make them weak and over time gain the advantage and ultimately win the battle learn the pattern predict the attack break the parts and win the battle another aerial sky controlling monster on the list is Legiana Legiana who soars incredible high in the sky the heights are close to the stratosphere they are swift and fly and glide like kites but also they create strong cold and arctic winds that will freeze your body in order to defeat them with this pro tip you know that they change their pattern they change their behaviors when they are high in the sky so you need to know when to break specific parts to limit the power of their attack skills and by lowering the power of their attack skills you will not be as cold and you will attack them more and win the battle and be the stronger one with the heat of your attack the heat of your attacks will cool Ejiana down Kulu Yaku is the next monster who has a very beautiful and poetic name they have front claws that grab objects easily they dig up rocks from the ground and use that shield when they are in defensive position so it's very tough to attack them with those rocks protecting them here's the battle tip here is the battle tip to defeat Kulu Yaku with ease know that all rocks are weak against blunt type weapons so make sure when you encounter this behemoth this monster in this world in this beautiful story make sure you have blunt type weapons leveled up so you can break those rocks with ease and after you break those rocks you will have the targets on those 
monster parts of his and break those parts to open up the wounds and strike and win the battle. The last monster you will encounter in Monster Hunter Stories 2 is Velocidrome. Or Velocidrome if you want to see it faster. They are the strongest alpha monsters in the game. They are larger than all the monsters that you will encounter up to this point. They have prominent crests that you will see from far away. They use their strong hind legs to jump at you and strike you down and pin you down and then they use their sharp claws to rank you and cut you down to smithereens. In order to defeat them, here's the battle tip. So you gotta make sure that your HP is not low because when your HP is low, that's when they're going to attack you. So you should avoid being at low health and then focus your attack afterwards. This is gonna be the strongest challenge you're gonna have in the game. Patterns recognition are gonna be tough. Breaking the parts are gonna be tough. But with your team, make sure they're all healthy, have a lot of HP, and know that they will focus on those who have the lowest HP on your team. And that's where you can turn around the advantage on your side and heal your teammates while you attack with the others. All those pro tips will help you succeed and enjoy the beautiful story in this game. I don't know how many secret monsters there are going to be in the game, but a secret monster I would love to see in this game would be Astalos. Let me know in the comment section what secret monster would you like to see in the game, and I'll make sure to reply to all those comments down below as well. Thanks everybody for watching, appreciate the support, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button so I know you want more of this content in the future, more videos every week, two or three times, so make sure you turn on those notification bells so you don't miss a beat. Joey Grips is signing off, see ya!